Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week, and we are underway from Santa Clara. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Let's go! Hey, go steal! The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And that'll be incomplete. Kyle Juszczyk, the fullback, the intended target. And now it's third down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Lance and company going on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. On first down, Brady. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 hey, from the 10. Brady going to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. To throw again on second down, Brady. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Buccaneers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And it's now a 7-0 game. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. He's at the 50. The 30. 10. Touchdown, 49ers. He goes 102 yards from one end zone to the other. And the Niners are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Gold with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. 
And the football changing hands here as this offense takes the field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage, but also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. They'll swing this out to Fournette. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. And the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of the times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. A first carry for Rashad White. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Brady. That is caught inside the five. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Tom Brady with two first quarter touchdown passes. And the Buccaneers have taken the lead. Extra point put through by Suckham. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown, so now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Rocky started throwing the football. He's missed now on his first four attempts. I'm eager to see what his demeanor is going to be from this point forward. Because the best ones, they missed the first 15 attempts, and they think they're going to hit the next 15. Let's see if he has that type of an attitude. Ready. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Ready. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Room here to run. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. 
Now a run with McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Lance. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one, he ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running, because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And some room to work. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Well, Christian McCaffrey is as tough to bring down as they come at the running back position, and he proved it right there. Yeah, and that's a run board out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed, out of my way, and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. McCaffrey running up the middle. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers are an extra point away from evening this one up. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also fell in the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Looking downfield for Godwin. 
And he's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass of this first half as his guys have now moved out in front. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And the lead is now 21-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's loose again. He's at the 30. 10. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. He goes 102 yards from one end zone to the other. And the 49ers are an extra point away from drawing level. And ho, oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Polluting the pressure right. And that is going to be pulled in. One-handed. Wow. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Throwing on first down is Brady. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A shotgun give to Fournette. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Brady gives this to White. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And Brady will sneak it. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. They'll run. This is White. Oh, and he's going to be brought down a few yards short of the goal line. And they're going to be unable to stop the clock from here. So close yet so far. And that's going to be how this first half will come to an end. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. 
The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Fakes the give to Fournette, now Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Nick Bosa just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. On play action, it's Brady. This is caught by Evans. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now whistles here before the snap. Looked like one of the Bucs may have moved. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Play action, now it's Brady. Buying time to his left. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Brady now to throw. Yeah, he's got it. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. White is into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, Offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big time play. Throwing his lance on third down. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Here we go, here we go. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 87 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And now they'll throw with Lance. Looking for the crossing receiver. He's got it. It's Samuel. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, 
big time pass. A little one two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch there. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. He's having a nice little game. Maybe already has an eye on that third touchdown. And how about what our producer, Christian McLeod, likes to say when they score touchdowns like this? He's put a tent up in Touchdown City. Lance going to try to throw for this. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now Brady. Complete right side to Otten. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. Back now here in Santa Clara. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. First and ten, here's Brady. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and ten. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Now gold for the extra point. It's up and good, and they jump back ahead. 35-28. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. So that a double whammy. Not only do you have to give away the football, but the two points, that means this is now a two-score game. Yeah, and that's tough to deal with, isn't it? This little time left. Those two points doesn't seem like a lot, but it means everything now. Those are going to be the ones we're going to look back on. Those two points right there, play the game. Ready. The San Francisco hey, offense ready. ready to start their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. 
Oh, good move. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. This is McCaffrey on the give. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Okay, ready? So the first down run lost to Couple. Now they come up second and 12. Ready? They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And the Buccaneer defense for the second straight play flexing its muscle by forcing a loss. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now this is a big third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Martin, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Ready, ready. And they'll go for it. Lance. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Now Brady. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Back to throw, Brady. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Fred Warner. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they?